So, you caught me in action. Is that what you're doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Come over my shoulder, huh? So we're doing some new exhaust manifolds, which we're, uh, I hope they'll be used on the Streamliner at Bonneville, but they'd also be good in the pickup truck as well. So, essentially, it's a CNC manifold that has the ability to expand and, and not lose its port alignment. So, we control the location uh, with a on the bolt size hole and a slot so the manifold can grow and contract. The ports are overmatched on the horizontal. So the port is wider than the head. And then we, we do truth plates, this being a manifold, uh, and we do truth plates of the head as well so that we know the match is done perfectly. So this manifold can grow and contract across the gaskets, and we're doing a large port multi-layer shim gasket to go with it. This is a typical uh, aftermarket head. Uh, of, this one is from Weigler, uh, and Jeremy is kind of the master of the universe on this stuff, and he uh, gave me a set to run on our uh, top dragster, so I also want to use these heads uh, on our our Bonneville Streamliner. We're going after the uh, land speed record for uh, diesel, which is currently 350. And, you know, between you, me, and the fence post, 400's a nice number. Our Streamliner's been 382, so... Uh, I want, these manifolds, we've designed these things to do the Streamliner thing. In other words, sustained wide open throttle and always have perfect port match regardless of the temperature of the manifold. This is something that's essential. You do a head, you, everybody brags about how they flow, and then if you put on a mismatched manifold, you ultimately kill the flow of the port with uh, improper manifold. So we're all, we're all about not diminishing the, the head with our manifold. Let's go look, look at a few other things here. Uh, I'm kind of, this is a Friday and I'm coming out, checking out where, where things are at Banks uh, Friday afternoon. What we're doing is two different outlet sizes, both of them will be CNC. And our outlet flange uh, is precision aligned as well, similar to the way we're making the head and the manifold aligned with each other. Since I'm going to use these in the streamliner, but I also want to use them in pickup trucks, this is a heat shield mount right here. And we have a heat shield that shields uh, the steering gear on your street-driven pickup truck. So it works either way. So we've got a drive pressure or turbine inlet pressure fitting and a thermal couple fitting on both banks. So you can look at how each bank is running uh, and, and pick out any injection issues bank to bank. So this is just machining this section. Then it remounts and we go in and we CNC the ports. I think we've got the only CNC ported uh, Duramax exhaust manifold on the market. Okay, so I'll I'll just I'll just speak to the camera here, and you can pan over to the to the manifold. We're we're kind of inside my big uh, CNC machine here. Actually, you could put a desk in here and have a telephone and operate out of this thing. This thing is big enough to do a uh, a V12 engine block. But today we've just got the Duramax manifold casting in raw form, so it will surface it surface the end, CNC the outlet, and CNC the ports in this operation. So 
one thing that becomes readily apparent is that this head and the stock exhaust gasket don't go together. I mean, the exhaust gasket is literally hanging into the port. Remember I was talking about uh, having the manifold kill the flow? Well, this gasket will kill the flow. I've heard of guys trimming these out with a pair of snips, but it kind of takes out the ceiling area. So we're doing our own gasket uh, to fit the situation. You can see much larger. In fact, uh, this gasket will fit any uh, stock or ported cylinder head. And to give you an idea, the truth plate, this is our manifold, so when we mount up the truth plate, we have a situation where you can see that the manifold is slightly larger uh, all directions, but especially this way. So as the manifold grows, it never hangs into the port. Whether it's cold or hot, it never hangs into the port, and it slides across the face of our gasket. 